we're going to do an example of a Turing machine. So we've got one here and I've labeled a few things, which is probably adding to the confusion. But if we just focus on the diagram at the moment, we can see the diagram is composed of a number of components. The first thing is you can see states. So the states are circles um, indicating the number. So depending on what state, there are different rules to follow. And the rules that you follow are indicated in the brackets. So the brackets indicate in different situations which rule we follow. And the arrows are indicating the direction of travel between the states. So when we put this all together, it makes a little more sense. If you look inside the bracket, I've got three labels there. So the first label in the example there is B. And that's basically saying that if there is a B that we're looking at right now, then what are we going to do? Then in this case, they write another B in its place. And finally, we move to the right, which means we move to the next cell to the right on the tape. The only other thing to point out is that last state, state two, has got a double circle and that would indi indicate an end state where the program would end. So let's look at this example. So below we can see a diagram showing the tape, tape contents, and we've got a B111B. And you can see indicated there, the tape head is pointing at the B. And to the right, you can see that we're starting in state zero. So the way it works is, we're in state zero, so we look at the state zero circle here, and we say, well, the contents are a B. Now there's only one rule coming out of the state zero circle, and it says that if there is a B, then we write a B and we move right, which means that we're gonna leave a B in place of that B, and we move to the right. So if we move to the diagram below that, you can see that the tape head is now pointed to one, and there we left a B in the last cell. You can also see that the arrow above has indicated that we moved to state one. So now we're in state one. So state one has got two rules, one to deal with a B and one to deal with a one. In our case, we're looking at a one, so we're gonna follow this rule. And it says, if there is a one, we're gonna write a B and move to the right. So what's that gonna look like when we do it up? That means that we're gonna write a B in here and we're gonna to move to the right. So what does the next line look like? Well, there's a B there. We're gonna write a B there. And now we're over here looking at that one and everything else is staying the same. So the head of the tape is now there. When we follow this rule above, we move to state two. State two has no rules, so it's an end state. So the program now terminates and we leave the tape head where it is. So our final solution is BB11B. This is a slightly more complicated looking example, but again, you just follow the same rules and you get to the end. So we'll look at our tape first. We can see there's a B and a couple of ones, zero, one, one, and a B. So you can see as well that we're in state zero to begin with. And above in the diagram, you can see four states, zero, one, two, and three. You can see three is your terminal state. And you can see you've got a bunch of arrows and a couple of rules there. And I'm not really gonna try and take it all in before I start. I think I'll just start and see where the rules take me. So looking at our first state where the tape head is pointing at a one. So I look at state zero and I see what the rule is to deal with a one. And you can see that it's this rule here. So if there's a one, I write a one and I move right. Okay, so there's already a one there, so it's not gonna make any change writing a one, but we are gonna move right. And I'll just quickly fill in what's left. So this is now the state we find ourselves in. If I refer back to the rule we just followed, you can see that the arrow is self-referential, which means that the arrow in state zero is pointing back to itself, which means that we're staying in state zero. So again, we're gonna follow the same rule because we're pointing at a one again. So if I look back up at the rule, it says I write a one and I move right. So I've written my one and I move right, and I'll just fill in the rest. And once again, you can see that we're staying in state zero. 
So at this point, we have met a one again. And by now you should realize that we're gonna follow the same rule again. We're gonna write a one and we're gonna move our tape head to the right and we'll fill in what's around it. So again, we're staying in state zero. However, this time we've now met a zero. That means we're following a different rule. So if I look up at my diagram, I can see that in state zero, if I find a zero, this is the rule I now apply. And it's gonna take me to state one. So I know I'm going into state one. And it says if I find a zero, I'm gonna write a one. So now I'm gonna replace that zero with a one and I'm gonna move right. So my tape head is now pointing there. So let's just fill in everything else. Okay, so it's important to note that we're now in state one. State one has its own rules for one and for B. So let's see what happens. We're pointing at a one and the rule for a one in state one is this. So it says we write a one and we move to the right. Because this rule is self-referential, which means it's pointing back at itself. That means we're staying in state one. Okay, so from state one, we've met another one, and so we're following the same rules. We write a one, and we move to the right, and let's fill in everything else. And again, we're staying in state one. Now we're meeting a B from state one, which means that we're following this rule. And this rule says, if we find a B, we're gonna put in a B and move to the left. So we're gonna replace that with a B and move to the left. So let's fill in everything else. And we're now on state two. So we have now been led here. And from here, it says, if we meet a one, which we're on, we're gonna write a B and move right. So we're gonna write a B and move right. And we've now moved to state three by following that arrow across. That was the rule we followed. So we're now in state three. State three is the terminating state. So we're finished on that B. So you can see that that is the final state of our tape. In this example, I've mixed things up a little bit. I've used some different notation, just so that you're used to the idea that these diagrams are not always gonna look the same. So on the left there, you can see the Turing diagram that we have. We've got states zero through to three. Three is our halting state, again, indicated by the double line around the circle. And you can see the notation slightly changed. I'm not using brackets anymore. I'm using a forward slash and a comma. So again, the first item, is if we read a one, the second item is what we write, and the third item is the direction in which we move on the tape head. And other than that, we just follow the arrows as normal. So we've done up an example here, 01001101, and we can see the tape head is starting in state zero, and we're pointing at that one. So if we look at state zero, we can see that because we're reading a one, this is the rule we're gonna follow. So we're gonna write a zero. So I'm gonna write a zero instead of that one, and then we're going to move to the left. But before I move the tape head, I'm just gonna fill in all the other data. Okay, and we're gonna move the tape head one place to the left. And you can also see that we're now entering state one. So we're in state one there. Okay, so looking at state one, and we're pointing at a zero, I can see that the rule that we're gonna follow is this rule. So we're gonna write a one, and the dot in the rule indicates that the tape head is not going to move. So we're gonna write a one there. So again, the dot means we're not gonna move the tape head, but we are moving state into state two, if you follow the arrow in the diagram. State two for dealing with a, a one, said that we're gonna write a one. So again, it's this rule, we're gonna write a one and we're gonna to move to the right. So nothing's really changing. But the tape head is moving to the right. 
and we're moving into state zero again if you follow the arrows state zero deals with a zero by writing a zero so again that's going to be a zero and if you follow out the rest of the rule it says the tape head is not going to move but we're going into state three so it's the halting state so our final answer is this.